What's going on my PT peeps, my Walking Dead family, and my fighters. I'm One Eye Bri, also known as PT, and I'm back to talk about The Walking Dead. Today is January 23rd. That gives us one month away from the return of The Walking Dead, which returns on February 23rd on the Sunday. Now, if you watch AMC Premiere, you can watch it the Friday before. I'm guessing they're still doing that. I'm not sure if that's confirmed or not, but it's pretty cool. It's a cool thing to watch it a couple days earlier. Spoiler warning for The Walking Dead Season 10 as a whole, as well as the comics spoiler warning. And if you can guys please hit that subscribe button it truly means a lot to us to have subscribers and achieve that goal of a hundred thousand subscribers we talk about the walking dead all year round hit that join button and become a valued member of the channel and ring the bell to get notifications when we post our daily videos now i'm excited for the return of the walking dead i usually am and this is definitely one of those seasons where i'm like come on and hurry up and the last time we saw that group they were stuck in a cave and I really hope it's one episode. I really hope everybody that survives, I hope they all survive. I'm not sure if they all will or not. I hope everybody gets out of the cave at season 10, episode nine. We have to find out what happens with Michonne. The, the way season 10, episode eight ended, it was like the cave stuff, Michonne, where is she gonna go? When is she gonna come back? But the big question is, who's going to survive out of these people? We know Daryl and Carol are definitely going to. We know Aaron definitely is. But what about Connie, Kelly, Magna and Jerry. We just don't know. And what about Mr. Negan? He's a wild card. Is he going to take out Alpha? Is he going to take out Beta? Is he going to take out both? Is he going to come back to our group? And who let the Negan out of the jail cell? A lot of people think it was Brandon, but that's not true. Brandon didn't know who it was and he had to run to catch up to Negan. So who let Brandon know that Negan escaped and sent him after Negan? Was it Carol? Was it Daryl? Was it somebody else? And the fact that Negan joined the Whispers, like he does in the comics, means to me that it's highly likely that he takes out Alpha, just like in the comics. And I know the show is the show and the comic is the comic, but they do hit major moments. And I know there's remixes, twists and turns, but the big major bullet points are shown on the show. And Negan taking out Alpha, I think is one of those major points that should happen. And I really wanna know what's up with Michonne. What's going on here? Is this a dream or is this really happening? Who is she staring at? Is there another lineup? Is she giving Lucille to Negan in a way that messes with him? And we haven't seen this part yet. It was in the Comic-Con trailer over the summer, but the big question is what's gonna happen with Michonne? Does she get on a boat on her own free will? Is she captured? Is she taken away? Is she exchanged by Virgil's people to CRM to go find Rick? We'll have to wait to see, but season 10, episode 12 is rumored to be Michonne's last episode. And I'm excited, but also dreading it because I love Michonne and I don't want her to leave the show, but we all know it's happening. And I really hope we at least get two episodes of Michonne in the back half of season 10. Does she bring guns to save the day? But if she brings the guns back, why would she leave again? I just don't get it. And I need those answers. Hurry up, February. But Lydia, that's another wild card. Is she just gonna go back to Alexandria? What side is she on? Her side. She chose her own well-being, which you should. But what does that mean? What's going to happen with her? Gamma. What's going to happen with her? Aaron. Does he survive the cave or not? I really hope so. Does Gamma survive? And will she become a valued member of Hilltop if she leaves the Whispers to join our group? We don't know yet. I kind of have a feeling Gamma's gonna die to help our group in some heroic fashion, but we'll have to see what happens. And we clearly know that the Whispers are going to attack Hilltop and probably Alexandria. They're going to attack both communities. But why? Is Alpha being killed the catalyst for Beta to lead the charge against our group? Most likely is the cause, but we'll have to wait and see. And do you think Beta survives into season 11? Because he does in the comics, he survives the war and comes back. As for the walkers, they survive the cave, they leave the cave, and how do they get out? Is there a trap door that lets them out? Because in the sneak peek teaser clip, the walkers exit the cave and we see that Daryl is alive. He's alone. Is he alone? And is he either the first person or the last person to leave the cave? Is he the only person to leave the cave? And what is he actually doing here? And what's up with this? Is this a kiss goodbye? Is it the kiss of death? Is it a dream? Is it after the war and Eugene is leaving to go find Stephanie from the Commonwealth? Are they doing the Stephanie Commonwealth angle? We heard a woman over the radio talking with Eugene, just like in the comics, and I really feel it's gotta be setting up the Commonwealth angle for season 11. 
but we'll have to wait and see. But I really hope season 10B is great. Action packed, really over the top stuff. The Whisperer of War, Michonne's Exit, Commonwealth Story Arc, Return of Maggie. Who are we going to lose? Who's going to stay alive? What's going to happen? Hurry up, we can do it! But it's crazy to think that we haven't had The Walking Dead on television since November 2019. No Walking Dead in December, no Walking Dead in January, but we'll get it at the end of February and it should be action packed for the rest of the year. So let me know your thoughts, post your comments below, and let me know what you're excited to see in the back half of season 10. And for those interested in my zombie apocalypse book series, pick up your copy today. It helps support the channel, the book series, and what we do here. Thank you guys for watching. I truly appreciate it. And tell them, Daryl. Yo, we love you guys. Honestly, thank you.